Breaking news at this hour, Sky 5 is live right now over a fire at the Tritech Molded Products plant. It's just north of McMinnville in Warren County. Several engines are on the scene battling the blaze. We do understand there are no injuries at this time. We, of course, will have more later online at NewsChannel5.com. The search for a killer continues this morning after gunfire rang out in Montgomery County. The shooting happened just two blocks away from Austin P. State University in Clarksville last night. Police say several people were having a cookout on Carpenter Street when a car pulled up and three people started shooting. 27-year-old Vincent Perdue was killed. Four others were injured. Clarksville police are looking for those men who fired out of the window of a white Kia Soul. The car has a Tennessee license plate with the tag number R0393D. If you know anything that can help investigators, call 931-645-TIPS. The president of France is warning that no survivors are expected to be found after a jetliner crashed in the French Alps this morning. The German wings aircraft was carrying 150 people and was traveling from Barcelona to Dusseldorf when it went down in an extremely remote area of the mountains. The plane was about an hour into its flight when air traffic control lost contact. There were some clouds in the area, but no severe weather. Authorities are warning it may take search and rescue crews a day or more to even reach the wreckage. Back in this country, a small plane registered to a Gallatin business owner crashed in Florida. Authorities say the single engine clipped a power line and crashed into the back porch of a home while trying to land at the Inverness Airport near Ocala, Florida. 75-year-old Joseph Smith, the pilot and only person on board, suffered minor injuries. Smith owns Associated Packaging out of Gallatin. Another medical news bombshell from one of the world's most well-known actresses and directors. Oscar winner Angelina Jolie has undergone a second surgery to prevent cancer. She revealed in a New York Times op-ed piece that she had her ovaries and fallopian tubes removed about a week ago. She lost her mother, grandmother and aunt all to cancer. Jolie had a preventive double mastectomy two years ago after a blood test revealed she has a gene mutation putting her at high risk for breast and ovarian cancer. In her editorial, she encouraged women to learn more about their options and to make choices that are right for them.